Hey everybody, a Retro Geek Dad here, back with a, another toy review. This time we're looking at something pretty cool if you're a Stranger Things fan and a Masters of the Universe fan. This is the Target exclusive Masters of the Universe and Stranger Things team up of Skeletor and the Demogorgon. Um, I actually received this as a Father's Day gift from uh, my kids, so it's been a little bit and I just haven't got a chance to do a review, but I'm really excited about this one. Um, in this package we do have a Masters of the Universe Origin Skeletor figure that's uh, specific to this packaging, so it's kind of a you know different paint deco. Um, we also have a Demogorgon from the Stranger Things uh, show on Netflix. Um, if you have not seen Stranger Things on Netflix, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a very cool show, very um, 80s, if you're big into the 80s. Um, it's really got that nostalgic feel to it. But um, I'm pretty excited about this one. Now we do have a He-Man and a... Um, oh, dang it, what's his name? Um, starts with a V. Vecna. We do have a He-Man and a Vecna two-pack coming. So those will be coming soon. Um, I'm definitely going to pick that one up. But we're going to do kind of a pa package walkthrough. We're going to open them up, check them out. Um, so stay tuned. This is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so we're back. <clears throat> like I was saying, um, I'm pretty sure this is like a Target exclusive. Um, I have not seen it like, you know, advertised with Walmart or anything. But, um, Really cool packaging. Um, so we do have, you know, our Skeletor, and then here at the bottom we do have our Demogorgon. So the package you can kind of, you know, flip or flop, whichever one you want displayed if you want to keep it in the package. So it is pretty cool. Um, I'll just kind of take a look at that. So we do have our um, we do have our Netflix logo here. So it is kind of like officially licensed. Um, on this side, we do have a pretty cool picture of Skeletor. Um, real scary face there, but on the other side, if we flip it again, we have our Demogorgon. Now, the Demogorgon comes with a pretty cool weapon, but we're going to get into that once we open them. So, flip it back around and take a look at the back of the packaging. So, it does... I'm going to zoom in. So, we do have a little bio there. Kind of what's, you know, what it's talking about and things. Um, right down there we do have some illustrations with the weapons and posability and stuff like that but we'll definitely get into that once we open them and the UPC code is down here there's that all the legal stuff so yeah really cool definitely definitely check it out but uh, we're going to open them up and see what we got so stay tuned okay so we're back and let's go ahead and get these guys opened. So we do have some tape here at the bottom. Set that to the side. Okay, so the back card artwork is pretty cool. We have kind of a turning here at the bottom. And then on the other side, we've got kind of a upside down Eternia. So if you're familiar with the show, that's really cool. Pretty cool backdrop. So let me raise the camera up some so we can get some better shot. Okay. So here we have our Skeletor and our Demogorgon. So we do have some uh, plastic ties holding them in. Let me cut those real quick. Let's see, on the Havoc staff, on the legs. And the arms. Do have one on the power sword here. And once again on the Demogorgon's legs. And one on his arm 
here. Another arm. And that's it. Yep, I think that's it. So we'll set this to the side because I definitely want to talk about that. Staff. Skeletor's, Skeletor's power sword. And our Skeletor. So we'll go ahead and there's a lot of plastic pieces here. Go ahead and take a look at our Skeletor. So um, this is kind of a re release of the regular Skeletor. Um, I think version one with the open mouth, but the paint. Um, the paint on it is kind of a wash, kind of a dull, dark wash. Um, it's pretty cool. I really like the, the color scheme. Um, just your standard articulation, so with the head, uh, the arms, elbows, wrists are on a rocker, legs are on a ball joint, knees, top of the boots and ankles on a rocker so your standard origins articulation okay and the outfit the purple outfit it kind of got a metallic kind of a metallic pearl i guess it's really cool kind of pops i don't know if that's coming through but we do have the power sword Now we only have one open hand, so he can't hold both the Havoc and the Power Sword, but we can put the Power Sword right here, just like we used to back in the 80s. And then he can hold his Havoc Staff, just like that. So pretty cool. So send him to the side. So let's look at the Demogorgon. So the Demogorgon is, um, without giving too much away, he is kind of like the bad guy in the first season of the Stranger Things show. So he's kind of like this monster. Now the Stranger Things show is heavily influenced with Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so the Demogorgon is actually a creature in the Dungeons and Dragons lore. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we do have pretty cool details here um, articulation so his head moves a little bit it's on a ball joint but the it is kind of a flexible rubber so it can you know move around some without there being a risk of breaking anything uh, arms it's gonna be your standard uh, elbows rockers waist legs are on a ball joint knees top right here where the boots would be and feet are on a rocker too so pretty cool and the armor is um get that back on there real quick armor it looks like it's beast man's just you know in gold um i don't know if this is any bigger or not this piece here but it looks really good the colors go good together um, I'm real happy with it but the weapon that he has so this is pretty cool so it's got these flame pieces on each side and of course these flame pieces they come off they just snap on now these are a little stiffer um, so just be careful because these pieces right here might break the little hooks there so that's a stiffer plastic but the um, staff here, so this is a D20. It's a 20-sided dice that um, is very frequently used in Dungeons & Dragons. So that's really cool. Um, I really like how they figured a way to include that into the, the figures. So that's really cool. So 
Just snap these back on real quick. Yeah, I didn't like the sound of that. So if you take these off, just be very careful. So they rotate as well. Yeah, they actually rotate. So there is that weapon. And of course he can hold it. So just like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And he could hold it in either hand, both hands are grabbing hands. So yeah, so um, really cool. Kind of, you know, if you're a fan of Stranger Things and, you know, He-Man, definitely, definitely worth a pickup. Um, I'm not quite sure the retail price. I want to say maybe $25 to $30 is probably in that price range. But um, my kids got this for me for Father's Day, so that was a good surprise. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take some still photos at the end of this video, so definitely stay tuned for those. But, um, yeah, quick review. Uh, if you guys like my content, subscribe, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up on some videos, uh, drop a comment, you know, um, have you seen Stranger Things? Who's your favorite character? Um, but yeah, definitely check out some of my other videos. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will catch you again next time.